everyone and welcome to the promotional website for Jurassic World Dominion. Now, last time I think it was the DPG, which is the Dinosaur Protection Group that we had. Whereas now we've got this, which is the Dino Tracker. The whole thing about uh, Dominion is, uh, you know, dinosaurs in our world. And not too long ago, uh, I can't remember who it is, but hopefully I'll put it up. Um, put the, uh, they posted a video to Twitter, and it was basically this exact concept. And I don't know whether they had something to do with it, or it was just Kuwait, Kuwait complete, Kuwinky dink. There we go. Um, but they managed to actually uh, predict what you know Jurassic World was gonna do, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so. This is like showcasing all the dinosaurs all around the world. And of course, we're going to look at them all because I'm really curious. I'm I'm sort of interested to see how far dinosaurs have gone. We know in Dominion, we it's a lot of it set in like Canada or America, and then a major part of it takes place in Malta. So it's kind of interesting now to look at this globe and see dinosaurs literally everywhere. We got them in Japan, as you can see there. Um, and I think the, the we got a Stiggy Morlock in the ocean apparently there. We got some in India, the Ankylos saw in the Trandon. But it's not just, you know, oh, you see where they are. But if you click on them, there's a video. There's a video. So I'm really excited. Okay, okay, let's let's have a look around. Uh, oh, we got a Baryonyx in the UK. Okay, let's have a look. What, what, what is the UK? Oh, here we go. We got uh, in Beckles or Becels. UK. I never heard of that. I, I'm from the UK. <laughs> Where the hell is Beckles? <laughs> um, UK sighting Baryonyx. Aggression level high. Sighting of Baryonyx was found in the early morning hours. Uh, sleeping on the side of a public swimming pool. What? We don't have those in the UK. Especially not outside. This is rubbish. Hearsay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay. So, that they're, they're definitely trying to make... Uh, they said aggression level high. It really doesn't seem that aggressive. Um, I mean, this is great. We saw at the end of uh, Fallen Kingdom, during the credit scene, that you had loads of dinosaurs kind of everywhere. And this is definitely them just latching onto that. Um, and I think even Colin, with the clip that I... Or the video I just previewed before, he, um, he retweeted or he commented on that actual Twitter. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was that was over there in Beckles, right? So we got one in Birmingham, uh, a Carnotaurus sighting. Uh, vacation vacationers had to hide as a pair of dinosaurs tore through the side of the holiday home. Eyewitnesses described them as reddish, two-legged carnivals with two horns above the eyes. Experts suggest a pair of Carnotaurus were responsible. Ooh, in Wales, we're going to go to the Republic of Ireland. Oh, we got, oh, we got video aggression level high. Well, the other one was ag aggressive, but maybe this one will be. Uh, a car traveling at night along a country back road had to stop due to a herd of triceratops blocking the road. Ooh, interesting. It doesn't look too bad, actually. That's really nice. I wonder who worked on I bet you it was the same guy who did the, um... We had a little bit of this in uh, Fallen Kingdom where it was the bull T-Rex running down the street from the Lost World and it was captured from a different angle. I have a feeling they definitely worked on this. This is Mayo, Mayonnaise Island. Now, this kind of bing, bing sound effect is definitely... It's, it's an American car. I know this because my Explorer makes this sound. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was just filmed in LA with an American car that when the keys are out of the ignition or the doors open, it goes bing. Bing! And it makes an incessant noise. But maybe they do an island. I don't know. Anyway, that's interesting. Uh, so the red ones must be like a live footage. So what we got here? What's this? Oh, we've got the Biosyn HQ and the Dolomites. Wow. So we actually know where that is. Stock price. It's up 3%. So I'm wondering as we get closer and closer... Uh, to the release of, you know, Dominion, we're going to see this website change. We've seen it with Jurassic World uh, when that movie... You so had the Jurassic World website and then when the movie came out, it was like, error, uh, dinosaurs rampaging. It was really cool. And I think we had a bit of it for Fallen Kingdom, maybe, with DPG being like, oh, this, like, slander, da da da, da. So I'm assuming with Dino Tracker, we're going to see something like this. So hopefully there's someone out there that is going to record the way this looks because it is definitely going to change. So... A CEO, Lewis Dodgson. Now, there has been... Wait, what's that? Oh! Did I just find a secret thing? 
I think I did. Oh, regarding our last meeting, I must once again urge you to work with Congress to declassify the seized documents from Azani Global and their subsidiary engine. I understand the sensitivity of this tech going open source. We're already seeing a dramatic rise in black markets, and we both know how big tech giants already have their hands on it. So who are we? protecting here. After the <laughs> incident up north, I really hoped the people in charge would come to their senses. I'm assuming maybe Lockwood? But now we're waiting on civilians to leak this stuff. Everyone presumed <laughs> dead uh, or presumed something were extinct. Obfuscating. What the hell's obfuscating? <laughs> Any and all intel. It would have been pivotal to know the exact state of these animals before heading into the field. We're dealing with a senseless tragedy every time one of our operatives is starved of data and things go south. We need to know as much information uh, these genetics companies have on the animals they created. Even the so-called outdated projects from the 90s they're saying outdated is that probably rexy not being feathered and stuff uh so we can better understand what we're dealing with you do understand that some of these animals are even venomous freaking dilophosaurus there we go uh while others have the equivalent of what was that L laurel pit from thermal vision for thermal vision oh that's like the sensors like snakes have right so some can sense like heat something like see in the dark basically the fossil record can't tell us those things and we and the public need to know what's potentially out there we're in deep water here fighting against the tide and haven't even been thrown as much as a, a pool floaty from those in charge as i'm sure your friends in high places know we've been contacted by an engine whistleblower <laughs> who let us know about species that were created but never officially acknowledged and even they barely scratched the surface of what we know congress could help with we're not asking for money we're asking for something far more valuable information uh, these animals are out there now and it seems they are here to stay so if we're going to safely track, manage, and relocate them, we need all the help we can get. Sorry, I'm slightly dyslexic. <laughs> dyslexic. Urgently. Oh, that's interesting. So I don't think we were supposed to find that. I just highlighted it. I was like, hold on a minute. So there's another one here as well. Ooh, attention. Payment request for you from Tailspin. Address NA. Email. Uh, KW Cargo Charters. Project Flying Live Cargo to Malta. From various neighboring drop points, asset delivered, comps, 12 Comstock nasals, 3 Gallimimus, 3 or a Juvie Gallimimus, Zoototep female, 2 males, 1 Velociraptor, and 3 Velociraptors female. Hours flown, 70 hours per week, air miles. Oh! Option 1, cash transfer complete. I'm wondering if that was to do with, um... Uh, DeWanda Wise's character. But then again, this is probably that big plane, the cargo plane we've seen. Oh, this is interesting. I like this. I'm going to have to... Ooh. So what's out here? Uh, the Amber Clave Market. Oh, so this is where we're going to find Grand, I, I presume, but maybe. Maybe not. DPW, the law enforcement task forces, worked tirelessly to crack down on the prehistoric animal black market, a lucrative and highly illegal activity that has sadly grown since these animals have been introduced to the wild. Several hubs of this black market trade have been located and shut down, with those responsible facing uh, justice for their involvement in the trade of prehistoric contraband. BPW and law enforcement is that I don't even know what that stands for <laughs> uh, forces continue to monitor and crack down on dinosaur black markets substantial financial rewards have been offered for any information leading to identification of the reported location in Malta so that's where we see um, what is it the uh, like Chris Pratt and the the illegal uh, ring uh, you know own Grady and that so I'm assuming that's so it starts in the the amber market and they'll find clues to where that is so oh this is interesting this is so cool i love this oh hey a tyrannical sighting in malaga spain a security camera whoa -ho! let's have a look i want to see it pretty oh look at it go oh it's like it knew where the security camera was oh this is awesome no sound though oh it's it did like the raptor thing yeah <laughs> it's doing the raptor thing <laughs> when it looks in then pff, breathes air on it oh this is so cool oh santa cruz tenerife sightings of tarandons aggression level medium 
Oh, okay. Is that we just thought what we were saying for the species and what we got here? Lake Nassau, Egypt, moderate allosaur footprints. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Oh god! Right, so wait, if I zoom in, we see more. Ah, so we, we might as well stay here then. Right, let's have a look at India. We got a medium sighting of uh, pteranodons. And then we got an ankylosaur sight. Look, look at it, it's so cute. Oh, hold on. If I just do this, I'm not going to find anything. What's learn more? Learn more. Ooh. Did you know ankylosaur was covered from head to tail in ostroderms or bones that grew like skin? Ooh. So this is just basically going to learn more about ankylosaur. It'll take it to a field guide and then it'll show you everywhere that Ankylosaur has been spotted. It's only been spotted in Rini, California, and India. Do not approach from behind! Pretty much goes for anything, I think. Or in a vehicle. Wave arms. Make loud noises. Don't do any of those. But remain calm, stay together in a group, and avoid night contact. Ooh, I wonder if they just have, like, poor eyesight. Maybe that's it. Oh, you got all of this? Oh, no! No, 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 we need to go back. How do we go back? I want to click. We need to go. Click on it. Yes, yes. Very good. Right. So we have, do we have any dinosaurs in Russia? I'm pretty sure we had like an evil corporation in Russia, did we not? Or like in Fallen Kingdom, he was a Russian dude. Uh, Rovenimi, what is this? Sighting Brachiosaur, ooh, little video. Government worker for the city of Romania caught a Brachiosaur on camera, conducting risk assessment around the local forest. Yeah, that doesn't look too great. Oh, we got here. Ooh, we got a picture of Dimorphodon in Indonesia. Sighting was captured by a local telecom engineer whilst investigating reports of a uh, faulty transmitter tower. Well, that'll definitely do it. But here we go. We got one in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, we got a Stiggy Moloch after several reports of sightings in the park. Rangers in Sorksen National Park managed to capture a curious Stiggy Moloch on their wildlife cameras. Curious! Aggression level medium. That should be high. It looks terrifying. Um, and what we got here? Ooh, we got in Japan, Miyajima Islands. We got threat level high for Dimorphodon. Flogging Dimorphodon was spot flying low over the ocean near Miyajima Islands, Japan. Oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> and then we got one in Tokyo. What's this? Oh, <laughs> Lake Ashi, I should say. Hakon, Japan. Pteranodons. Someone taking photos of Mount Fuji as the clouds parted caught this image of a flock of pteranodons resting on the forest around Lake Ashi. Well, to be fair, um, this is definitely fake because you never see Mount Fuji. And that thing, the Tory Gate, whatever, is constantly under construction recently. So no, false. Because <laughs> I went to see it not too long ago. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see it. It was covered in scaffolding. Jurassic. They love them America. They love themselves Americans. And of course, there's friggin' dinosaurs everywhere in America. So let's have a look. California, US, and Kylosaur sightings. Ooh! It's a Kylosaur! It's, it's a Dada! It's a Dada! <laughs> okay. We got one in Portland! Oh, we got a copy! Who's a cutie? Oh, that's awesome. At least they're feeding them, though. <laughs> oh, aggression level high. They're really just playing around with it. We've got Vancouver. Uh, Toronto on site. Warning drones are nesting in this area. This behavior is being recorded as far back as 2001. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! When a group of Toronto's escaped East Sauna and began nesting- Oh, they're referencing Jurassic Park 3! Scientists are researching why these animals are drawn to Vancouver, with some theorizing this migration pattern stems from genetic memory. So that's interesting. Okay, what are you what are you hinting towards there? Whereas oh I thought they were gonna put in Oklahoma, because that's what like what Amanda Kirby says, as long as they're not near Oklahoma. <laughs> Algary! Oh, we got the baby Nozutoceratops! Oh my god, what is that? Daisy? Daisy, no. Daisy, get back. Bad Daisy. It... No. It's a baby. <laughs> yes, that's what you said. It's a baby. You wouldn't be like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Person in Canada came home. Find that dog barking at something outside their back door. And apparently, we're completely fine with it. Montana. We got Pteranodon Sightings. Yeah, that one looks a bit too good. Is that, was that Denver? Oh, we got another one in Denver. No Zootoceratops. DPW personnel were called in to tranquilize and relocate a solitary no Zootoceratops. Right, we got Toronto. 
Ooh, we got the Apatosaurus. Oh, that's got a low level. These huge dinosaurs live in the nearby woods and regularly cause traffic jams along the Kingsway. Oh, that's not so bad. Well, we got Pennsylvania here. Oh, Gallimimus, I heard of Gallimimus. Stalled traffic on a foggy night in Washington. Oh, they used this for the trailer. 100% they used that for the trailer. I like how the guy didn't say anything. It's like, eh, yeah, that's these guys again. Stegosaurus sighting. A person out cycling in the forest of Maine is surprised by the sudden appearance of a stegosaur, which causes them to fall off their bike. I think we saw it on the left there. This is so cool. I love this. Oh, <laughs> no, that's more of a that's more of a normal reaction, I suppose. <laughs> so I'm just editing the video, and uh, if you listen really closely, the cyclist makes a very specific sound when he falls and hits himself. You catch that? You catch you catch that little huh sound effect. Sounds suspiciously familiar to uh, the hunter from uh, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, PlayStation 1, listen. Yeah, sounds exactly the same. That's, that's 100% Easter egg. I love it. <laughs> What's that? We got a uh, Mexico Baryonyx, a tourist group in Mexico found themselves being hunted by a Baryonyx. One person managed to capture it on their phone and then they died. <laughs> Oh, that's the Baryonyx. Oh, it gave up way too quick. I thought that was gunfire in the back. Like, Jesus. Oh, we got San Jose. Oh, Stiggy Moloch. Authorities stopped traffic to inspect a vehicle that was illegally transporting a Stiggy Moloch. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. We got some in South America. What we got here in Peru. A Carnotaurus video taken from a bus in Peru shows a rare moment where a Carnotaurus is seen hunting some of the local wildlife. No! Llama, no! Oh, they cut it just before the good part. <laughs> Rio de Janeiro. Uh, Brachiosaurus, a local bartender captures... I thought they would call him the Brachiosaurus a local. Oh, look at that. That's such a stock image. We've seen this one before. <laughs> uh, captures the moment when a herd of Brachiosaurus are peacefully... I thought all the Brachiosaurus died. How dare you? Colin, that, that's awful. You, you tricked us with that whole scene of like Baroness... No. I'm sorry, Brachiosaur and Abraham. And then they're everywhere now. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Right, I just want to see. Oh, we got another one in Perth, uh, Australia. More Dimorphodons. Dimorphodons spotted congregating on an old billboard. So what's interesting is the majority of sightings that are away from uh, America seem to just be Pteranodons. You've got an Ankylosaur for some odd reason in India. Uh, but everything else that's really far away, including... Uh, oh no, we've got Stiggy Moloch, if for some odd reason, in uh, South Korea. But I think the two, yeah, the two in Japan are just Pteranodons. So I was going to say that would be quite clever if they just put the dinosaur sightings as Pteranodons everywhere um, that was outside America, or at least really far away. But obviously these dinosaurs have had years to go everywhere. Uh, did we see yeah, that? We saw that one. Right, but we've got some big ones still to come. We've got these... Three. So before, I kind of want to do this one. So what we got, Isla Nublar. Oh, so that's where it was located. And we got a secret as well. Location of the original Jurassic Park, pre predecessor to Jurassic World. The island's ecology and much of its previous infrastructure was destroyed following the eruption of Mount Saibo in 2018. Little remains of the park within the island itself. However, their former occupants live on throughout the world through illegal trafficking of living species, the underground sale of dinosaurs and DNA slash embryos, and the natural breeding of the dinosaurs themselves. But we've got a secret here. Oh! Bad man! <laughs> we got what internal document do not distribute. File number 1945. Current employer, International Genetics. Oh, okay. Uh, position lead computer program. So this is an old one then. I thought Dennis was going to take some work. Boy, I was wrong. 
It didn't take more than a couple of cheap cocktails and some questionable shrimp for him to start dishing the dirt on Hammond. Oh, so this must be Dodson's file. And the operation they have going on in Nubla. What about the, the, the pie and stuff? He loved that. Most importantly, however, is how underpaid he feels for the work InGen has him doing. He basically told me everything I wanted to know without me really needing to lift a finger. But down to the serious stuff. This is our perfect cut and run candidate. Candidate? Candidate. Candidate. <laughs> candidate. Jesus. I bet this sucker would sell his own grandmother for the latest CPU upgrade. And what he even was musing about how he built their entire security systems. Nedryland, he called it. So this is our golden turkey. Nedryland, that's got to be a reference to like trespasser or something. It's got to be right. Dennis is a smart guy and I strongly believe he can get access to all the species we, we require and more. We just need to come up with a viable method of transportation. Oh, uh, we know what that turns out to be. As he mentioned, some heavy security checks at either end of the boat ride. I suggest we test the water with him, make him an offer for some low level information and see if he complies. Oh, so this is before the, you know, the big scheme. This would be good opportunity, uh, would be a good opportunity for us to find out exactly where those boats and choppers were coming from. Uh, that day we monitored the island. Ooh, so they were already under surveillance, in gen that is, uh, before they even realized. Personnel summary, underappreciated in his job and willing to work with us. Built the Jurassic Park mainframe, has complete access to all systems. Status, pending, additional. Ooh, initial reports coming from our engineer in Costa Rica is that Dennis went missing during the security breach. Our contact on the crew also confirmed that he never made the exchange. The... Bleh, I'm assuming that says cryocan because it's got a Y there. The cryocan location is unknown at this point. Ooh, I like this. This is so good. This is awesome. I know what like Colin said, mentioned in his tweet. He was like, oh, there's stuff for kids. There's stuff for the adults that like dinosaurs as well. Ah, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then this must be Isla Sauna. Just a little bit away. Yes, it is. Does it have anything? Any secrets? It does. It does have a secret. Ooh. Um, so Isla Sauna, part of the La Cinco Metas archipelago. Isla Sauna was leased by Ingen in 1982 and was the initial location for the R&D and birthplace of de-extinct wildlife for Jurassic Park. In 1999, the ownership of the island passed to the Mizrani Global Corporation for the development of Jurassic World. The island is overseen by the Costa Rican government in close partnership with the third party companies, oh, with partnership with third party companies to safely contain and monitor any remaining dinosaurs that may still be present there. So they, they, they know there might be something. So Spinosaur could still technically be alive. I know they've tried to kill it in every which way, no matter what game it is, Jurassic World Evolution, God knows, just uh, unceremoniously have it killed by the Raptor Squad, even though that's how it was supposed to die. But you know, they knew better <laughs> not to do that. But let's have a look at the secret file. Oh my good God. Okay, right, uh, give me a second here. Yes, here we go, egg transmission, uh, right. Oh my god, I know how you feel about my tactics, but it seems things just keep getting better and better for us. I'm reaching out for your legal expertise and carrying out an uh within our archives. What I'm about to propose to you isn't exactly approved by Congress yet, but in order for us to get it across the line, I first need someone who can make things disappear, after which you can lay the rest of your concerns about my wasteful neglect and dangerous business practices. Remember, even though you doubted my abilities to secure the location and infrastructure for our facility in the I'm assuming this is Biosyn, so it's talking about that lab somewhere. You happily sat there and watched your stock rise from 19 flat to 78 and a quarter since we got the research from Project Regenesis. Everything is working in our favor. So let's get down to business to defeat item 103. By now, you would have heard the news of dinosaur sightings on mainland America and even abroad, including Indonesia and the United Kingdom. <laughs> 
This not only confirms something report on the events at Lockwood Manor, but also means we can very likely go to phase three. With dinosaurs on the mainland, this is the perfect opportunity to boost company research and acquire some of the species we weren't able to get before. Meaning Rexy, because they never had that. I'm assuming. Uh, but it won't be easy. And unlike previous company endeavors, this will be very public. So you'll be pleased to know I wanted to proceed by the book this time. You know, because Biosyn was the one who went under the table, sort of, to steal from InGen, which didn't go well. So this is their way to seem on the surface like the good guy, but really they're not. I'm assuming, anyway. We need to clean our archives, and I mean clean them out, delete anything that ties us to Dennis Nedry, or the follow-up infiltration of the 94 crew and Project Regenesis. We don't know what that is. That's interesting. It could mean Trespasser. Maybe they want to ease a sauna and stole the work there. And any... I mean, you guys will know. Leave in the comments. I'm curious. Oh, I like this. All these theories. And any physical paper trails that might lead back to us. Must be destroyed! You did great in convincing the UHCS that our representative worked for Ms. Ronnie back in 2003. So this will be a run-of-the-mill stuff with you. Huh. So that must be referring to Hoskins. Maybe. Maybe Hoskins was working with Biosyn the whole time and not Indian. Oh, I don't know. Uh, here, but then again, 2003 is a long time ago. Here is a list of the files we need to be completely burned from the system. Locations of physical copies are attached. Embryo requirement. Keywords, Indian, John Hammond, Jurassic, 993, Dennis Nedry, Isla Nublar, years 1991 to 1983. Project staff. Board of Directors, I don't know. File archive location, I don't know. <laughs> Project Footprint. Keywords, International Genetics Technologies, Crew Engine Operations, Cleanup 1994. So I think that might be, that's definitely talking about what happened after the events of Jurassic Park. Um, don't know anything about that. Project Regenesis, this is the interesting one. Keywords, early R&D for Jurassic Park, second incarnation. So maybe this is, yeah, this is the lost world, 100%. Um, Algorum, or Algon? Algon testing, Isla Sauna Site B1999, and a redacted one. Years archive, 1999 to 2000. Okay. To be clear, I want to make a blank one of those entitles that has been hacked. If news of this hack ever gets out. We'll just take the hit over our internal security concerns, set up a press release shortly thereafter that shines light back onto the <laughs> miserable horrors of InGen and Mizrani Global, after which we can carry out a public contain and rescue event which wins us public support. We will rebuild the losses and begin to connect ties to government agencies. I can discuss in more detail when we meet item 203. With the blank swipe from Lockwood, I think I can quickly find the location of blank. So this could mean with the Indominus Rex bone or sample swiped from Lockwood, I think I can quickly find the location of the lab or the cryocan? And bring him here. Oh, blue. Oh, it must be Delta or, or Beta. Yes. Yes, it must be. With the location of blue or Beta and bring him here. Or oh, Dr. Wu. Um, he's been on the run. Oh, it must be. It must be Dr. Wu. He's been on the run since, I don't know, uh, Jurassic World uh, went under. So if, yeah, if we're going to tie up our loose ends, I'll feel safer knowing where he is. It must be Dr. Wu. And on that note, he cannot find out we were involved in the 99 research. Everyone wins. If he remains under the impression that he was working with all Injun and Mizrani people. Oh, so Dr. Wu, this is Redemption Arc. He's been taken uh, for a ride the whole time. It's been Biosyn working behind the scenes, puppeting Injun and Mizrani. I hope your old friend, Grant? No, maybe uh, your old friend something desperate enough for a paycheck this time. Wu, Dr. Wu is desperate enough for a paycheck this time because we've come so far now that I'm not even sure he's on our level. Yeah, it must be Dr. Wu. In fact, we never finished that research. Something, something, something. Haps, that'll give him something to work on that might benefit all of us if he cracks it. There is also a list with those who were involved at the time and who of them still work for us attached. Please compensate them for their continued silence. 
Ooh. Is Ian Malcolm one of them? Ooh, I don't know. Item three of three. Also, I wanted to follow up on the captain of the blah, blah, blah. I received this email from blah, blah, blah. After discussing the events at length with the captain of the Coast Guard vessel, he assured us that this must be a Mosasaur encounter, that his crew would keep quiet about the signs of activity in the area during 2017. For the majority, the uh, financial reimbursement for their hero heroic work in assisting the armed forces with their rescue of the stricken tourist vessel was sufficient to assure discretion. Ooh, so the Moses horse went off and attacked a tourist vessel. Uh, total reimbursement for the captain and crew settled at uh, blank. Acquisition and sanitization of official documents and footage settled at something. Agent something. As the reports of this operation in report something. As mentioned previously, there were the others who seemed resistant to abide with our terms. We explained to them the extent of the legal ramifications for speaking out and they reluctantly accepted our offer. We recommend surveillance of the Mosasaur and for nine months to ensure they comply. Oh, yeah, it must be their vessel. Uh, briefings for all this will be sent to field agents in due course. At the end of proceedings, I feel that the crew of blah, blah, blah will not require any further action and that this case is now closed. Our clean slate begins now! Happy holidays and give my love to Dodson, I'm assuming. Delete this message from all trash archives. Oh, this is so fun. I love this. This is always learning so much about this. This is brilliant. And this must be what they're talking about out here is where the Mosasaur is. Aha, ha, Pacific Ocean sighting Mosasaur aggression level high. It should be highest. Um, the cameras aboard a deep sea survey prospecting platform caught the moment uh, a Mosasaur collided with the superstructure before venturing into deeper water. So this is like a an oil rig, I'd assume. <gasps> Let's see. I want to see. Ooh, what's making that noise? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Are we gonna get a colliding? Got a frame a second. Wow, it is moving very slow then. I wonder what that alarm is. Is that saying that it's like seen it? It's like a proximity alarm? Why would they have that though? This is the whale. No colliding? No bang? No bang. Just a, just a, just a nice calm walk by or fly by I should say. Oh, I found another one in the Biosyn replacement capture and transportation team. Good morning. We have received the final list of candidates through from A to Z. He seems to think these will be the best that Biosyn human resources can muster to replace our field team and transport crew after the recent incident. Ooh, maybe that's how we'll open. Maybe they get killed by something. The training of the animal technicians really needs to be stepped up. I don't want to lose a fully loaded transport again. Ooh. List is as follows. Any questions, contact either myself or Howard King if I am in the field. J. Ansel, P. Arnold, Beverage! Hey! Oh, Beverage. Damn. <laughs> Dickens. Fairhead? Oh, God, we got loads. Except for K. Watts. That's the pilot, I think. That's, um... That must be, I think. What's she called? Kayla. Kayla Watts, I think that's her name. Call blank to arrange a meeting with blank. I've heard good things about... Blank. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, some military dropout. Um, apparently. Now she's flying less than legal cargo. Oh, so she's from the military. It must be K-Watts. Uh, in and out of Mombasa. In a beaten up old flying boxcar. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Uh, so long as the price is right, I think we found our pilot. Speak when I get back. So obviously she, um, she turns code. I think she's like, oh, she's working for them. And maybe she realizes what they're doing. And... I get the feeling that's probably what happens. So, I've just discovered that. I just want to double check to make sure there's no more that I'm missing here. Wait, this is a video? I didn't even notice this was a video. Oh, it's the Listrosaurus! Oh, bless it! Wait. Wait, what? Are... Wait. Are they... Are they cooking dinosaurs? What was that? Oh my god! 
of course, like medicine and stuff. There'll be like Byronix teeth will, will heal all infertility. Oh, they're even incubating eggs. Wow. Jeez. Oh, I can save a screenshot. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it here because we've been on this for almost 40 minutes and we've seen so much. But if you've enjoyed this video and you are more hyped than ever for uh, Jurassic World Dominion like I am, leave a like and let me know if I've missed anything in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you hooligans later. Oh, bye-bye.